I'm not allowed to eat here. Don't. I'm checking out. Yeah, I'm a slap her. Yeah, I'm. I'm <laughs> Get out of here. Damn. I don't care. I can't put her out of here. What? Okay. Hey, okay, I'm sorry. Y'all. Self defense. We covered this when it first took place. We now have an update because the victim uh, provided some, well, I just call it commentary and analysis. Here it is. I did not expect this to spit on me, y'all. I did it. She's trying to walk by and she spit on me. <laughs> Shorty dead ass spit on me, y'all. And that landed on my lip. On my. Don't let me catch that on the street. I'm going to whoop her ass again. Let me say something. Shorty spit on me and it landed on my lip. What? <laughs> so at this point, I'm like, <gasps> and I'm recording. I got my phone in my left hand. Where the f do you think you're going, Miss Ma'am? I grab her and I yank her ass on the floor and I just start going crazy. All right, guys, welcome to our channel. I'm sure you've just seen the video we played for you. But before we go on, my name is Maren for those who are new here. Yeah, and I'm Maureen. So if you're new to this channel, please consider subscribing and leaving your comment and thoughts on this video. So guys, I'm sure you have seen what has happened in the video. And one question I can just ask you, how would you feel if someone spat on you for whatever reason? Yeah, in this day and age, I mean, first of all, you just have to think of the entitlement mm -hmm. this white woman had to spit on another person like that. Mm -hmm. And then secondly, uh, for her to spit on uh, the black American woman like that, it, it shows that uh, this woman did not want this black American woman there. And the premises is not even hers. They both went there for to Some be said. served. Mm -hmm. They both had money when they were walking into that store. And only for her to do that to another fellow person and if you, re right. if you realize she was talking to a worker in that establishment and she was telling this worker to remove the black woman from the store and that worker refused so you know this just tells you this woman is she has like she's so racist it's embedded deep in her blood because if you ask her what reason did she have to to you know showcase uh, such level of hatred towards this other woman she didn't have none you know mm -hmm. and one thing i can say is that i really really like that black americans can stand up for themselves in this day and age because at least nowadays they know how to record these things can go viral and people can be held responsible you know right because i'm trying to think of a situation where mm -hmm. uh this when and the white woman spat on this sister and she didn't have the live recording of what had happened to her and she attacked the white person mm, and just trying that. to imagine how the story could have been twisted mm. and this black woman would have found herself in prison for the same and she was not the one who started the attack yeah i don't advocate for violence but in this case i feel like i would i i really support this sister yeah and because it was a self-defense it was a natural reaction, reaction to what had been done to her mm. and you see if it was that easy for this old woman to tell her sorry she also knew it was something it was wrong. something wrong mm -hmm. it, it only had to take this a good black woman to give her a good beating <laughs> in order for her to apologize but mm. she shouldn't have even waited for that apology in the first pla place mm. this white woman should never have done that to begin with right so that was wrong on all levels i mean i don't know if you have had such an experience if you're black in america and you've had such an experience in in this modern day and age we'd really like to know to know what happened you know and then it's funny how racism uh manifests it, it manifests Different itself ways. in this day you know 2024 it's very funny how racism um 
you know because the other day we were looking at a video that had gone quite viral and it was of a nigerian being uh, discriminated upon i don't know if it was in an airport or a train one of those two places and what i was happy about is is that her fellow black people came to her defense you understand right yeah so like racism i feel like right now it manifests itself it doesn't necessarily have to be through segregation mm -hmm. but nowadays it manifests itself what i'm happy about though is that much as that those people who try to be, are trying to be racist against people mm -hmm. but nowadays they try to hide it you know but there are those ones who just can't hide it like current the current that we just watched yeah so you guys tell us in the comment section if you are the black uh Woman. if you are the black sister being assaulted by this white current mm -hmm. what would your reaction have been like because here in africa we seldomly we random we don't randomly see these kinds of acts mm, we don't see the acts at all we don't see the acts at all but the only f what we suffer from is colorism colorism mm. is in africa and i believe it's in it's in every other places where you have black people and they were colonized different black shades mm. yes different but it's not as bad as racism right. so guys let me tell you let me ask something i know right now when you spit on someone it can be classified as assault right and that mm. is something that can land you to in jail in america uh, as for my understanding yeah but those living in america you can in america you can please clarify this whole situation for us mm -hmm. can spitting on a person be termed as um assault assault and then when i beat that person up can i can i defend myself with it was self-defense but i think that was a, a natural reaction no it you know? was it was mm -hmm. yeah another thing another question i want to pose to our audience today is mm -hmm. uh what would happen if you saw let's say for example you are in this store in this place that they were in or any other random public place and there was a white woman or just say a white person treating another black person like this what would you do yeah because me i know if a black person it was t the tables were turned and a black person would treat a white person like this definitely there would be consequences not uh, and and, uh, and i also know that black people would step into you know intervene with the situation just mm. that's just a natural like human thing to do mm. but would you step in what would what would you do as the eyewitness and the reason i'm asking this question although i'm not comparing the two scenarios i'm just using it for context <clears throat> there was another time we were traveling here, here in kenya you can get you know you can especially when you look like you're coming from a good place or you're well dressed uh you're more likely to be taken advantage of in the sense that you may be overcharged of, or of, overpriced when you, it comes to buying goods or paying for services so there yeah. was this time we were using and it doesn't only happen to white affluent for us it doesn't only happen to affluent kenyans it also happens to foreigners who look like they're well off mm -hmm. or foreigners who have an accent you get what i'm saying yeah so the other day we were using a public transport to to go somewhere and we asked the the price so we were told the price uh, that we need to pay to the conductor so when we got in there was another lady there and she was looking quite you know someone who she was well you look dressed. like you're loaded yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. we kind of felt like like we we kind of felt like the conductor was not being truthful to us but we, we were so late we decided to board the vehicle so we sat next to this lady and this lady uh when the, she was asked for her transport she asked how much she needed to pay and that person told her a price higher than ours and we were left wondering but let me tell you i was so shocked i couldn't even say it was wrong your, sh your shock could not allow you to speak because you are right, still processing. processing yeah because i also felt like we were being overpriced so i felt like at that moment when only when i we are uh, we alighted right. is when i felt like i should have said something but when it was happening i was in such a disbelief state that i couldn't do anything so i wish i did something but it's, it's always a learning process as you go so white if there's a white man watching this or a white woman watching this video i don't know what would you do in this situation to you know what would you do and if there's a black person watching this what would you do in that situation right. as, a, as an eyewitness mm. it would be interesting to know your opinion on this yeah so guys thank you so much for watching our video you can leave your comments on the comment section and remember to keep them respectful mm. okay so see you guys in the next episode bye